Uh, dope in there. Pool. Dead. Whether you love him or love to hate him, Deadpool has been nothing short of a cinematic powerhouse ever since his first film debuted and absolutely crushed the box office back in 2016. So, of course, the franchise is going to continue. It would be absolutely insane to not make another one. They'd basically be leaving money on the table. But what might a third Deadpool film look like? With some pretty big behind the scenes shakeups, such as the Disney Fox buyout, Fans of the Merc with the Mouth have been questioning what they could expect from Deadpool 3. Well, that is exactly what I'm going to be talking about today, covering everything we know about the future Deadpool film, including whenabouts we might be able to expect to see it. So sit back, munch on a chimichanga, silence the voices in your head, and let's go ahead and dive right into it. One of the biggest questions that's popped up in regards to the movie since Disney acquired Fox has been whether or not the film would be allowed to be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And that is a pretty valid question to ask. I mean, none of the other Fox X-Men films are going to be continuing on as part of that universe. So it kind of would make sense to keep Deadpool out as well. However, on the flip side, Deadpool can break the fourth wall, making bringing him in pretty easy actually. Well, we don't have to ask that question anymore as Kevin Feige, the head big wig over at Marvel, recently answered it, revealing that Wade Wilson would in fact continue on as part of the MCU. So expect at least one joke in the next movie about Ant-Man going up Thanos's, well, you know. The other big question that fans brought up nearly constantly was whether or not the film franchise would continue to be R-rated, which I mean, being part of the MCU and produced by Disney, that is also a very valid question to ask especially after the release of Once Upon a Deadpool, a PG-13 cut of Deadpool 2 that we heard Disney was paying close attention to. It kind of looked like we were going to be getting a more toned down Wade Wilson after that. Turns out though, we were definitely wrong on that front, as Kevin Feige also announced that the franchise was going to be keeping its R rating moving forward. So expect the movie to feature all of the F-bombs, over-the-top gore, and childish, innuendo-laden humor. Everything that makes a Deadpool franchise what well, we love. Now, does that mean that DP is going to be bringing his R-ratedness with him when he appears in other MCU projects? Probably not. But you can probably expect him to at least make a joke about not being able to drop an F-bomb or how bloodless his kills are all of a sudden. Here is a fact that pretty much no one was asking about, but I figured I should at least mention it. Of the main cast of the franchise, no actors have, as of the recording of this video, been confirmed to be returning. That is, except for Wade Wilson himself, Ryan Reynolds. And honestly, I can't personally imagine the Deadpool series continuing on with anybody else in the role. So that makes the most sense. No other superhero actor has been able to so perfectly capture the essence of their character more than Reynolds. Sure, people like Robert Downey Jr. and Hugh Jackman were pretty close to perfect, but come on, Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool, and Deadpool is Ryan Reynolds. So having him come back is kind of a no-brainer. Think Ryan Reynolds got this far on his superior acting method? Love is blind, Wade. No, you're blind. And Reynolds is going to be helping out with writing, but the bulk of the work is going to be done by a new team of writers this time around. Specifically, the Molyneux sisters. Best known for their work on Fox's animated hit show Bob's Burgers, the Emmy award-winning duo of Lizzie molyneux Loglin and Wendy Molyneux have been confirmed as screenwriters on the project and were reportedly brought in at the behest of Reynolds himself. Hopefully they'll be able to bring more than just some grade A puns to the table. Though if they brought those too, I wouldn't complain. Finally, we come to the last detail that I can say for sure, which is when we might be seeing the movie. Okay, so I can't give you a date or anything, but I do have some details that you might wanna know about. You know, the last Deadpool movie came out in 2018. So it would be reasonable to assume that we might see Deadpool 3 perhaps later this year or early next year, right? Well, don't count on that. According to Feige, the movie won't even begin filming this year. The reason? Well, it comes down to how busy Reynolds is. Couple that with the just sheer volume of other MCU movies the studio has produced and released, and things just aren't lining up in a way that would give us the movie anytime soon. But hey, at least we know for sure that it's coming. So that counts for something. I got places to be, a face to fix, and oh, bad guys to kill. What I'm really curious about, and something that obviously no one can predict this early, is what the box office take will be like for Deadpool 3. Will the movie reclaim the title of highest grossing R-rated movie from DC's Joker, or will that record hold strong? 
or will we even be watching movies in theaters at that point? Kind of still up in the air right now. 